Good morning, I'm Kansai and welcome to Dragon Track. And yes, it's another morning of night hiking. Woohoo! It's before 5.30. I have been silt blazing this morning. Uh, I turned the headlamp off at 4.43. Uh, and this morning something happened that has never happened to me before in my entire life. As I got out of bed around 20 minutes past midnight, uh, there were a couple of flying creatures, small ones, buzzing about the shelter. Uh, unfortunately, they were attracted to light. And the longer I spent in the shelter with my light on, the more of them gathered around me and the more annoying they became, but I suffered through it. I started preparing breakfast, and they were annoying. One of them landed in the peanut butter on my pita, and I decided that it now was not the time to have breakfast. And put the peanut butter and the pita in the bag of trash that I'm carrying with me because what you carry in, you carry out. Today, night hiking was harder than it has ever been before, but then the trail was harder than it has ever been before when I've been night hiking. Log over the trail, but it appears to be high enough well, I, I was planning on going under without bending, but uh, I genuflected a little bit as I came under involuntarily without even thinking about it. Things went a little slower than expected in darkness because of uh, the increased difficulty. Uh, I have some pain in my left foot. I have some pain in my right foot too, but that's not related to the pain I have in my left foot. The the what a, the pain I have the brace for is acting up this morning. And I got the north shelter before I would have had to leave there if I had stayed, spent the night there. I am currently on track to be at the campsite, six miles or so from where I camped last night. Uh, and the, ca the campsite where I was supposed to have spent last night. Uh, I am expecting to get there before 8 o'clock, which would have been approximately where I might have started. Uh, that's the starting time I've been counting on, I guess, even though I might have started earlier than that, but that's what I'm counting on. There have been a portion of the trail this morning was not covered by the canopy of the woods. So I did see some stars in the sky this morning, which was not... Oh! I hope it's turning. I, I'm not going through that. But yeah, that's basically what I've been up to this morning. I'm going to a, a shelter cabin, really. Uh, there's actually someone working there, and I have heard rumors of pancake breakfast which would be nice. 
U.S. boundary. I've never seen a sign like that before. Can uh, someone please comment down below what this U.S. boundary actually means? Two trees fallen one on the other and this seems like the root system of one of the trees. Let's see if I can go down a hill while I'm filming this. Okay, let's stop here. Okay, well, there you go. There are some views through the trees. I just hiked down this narrow trail underneath the big log hanging down this way. Uh, it was a little precarious, but not the worst thing I've done. Three miles from the campsite, I had three hours to get there. One and a half mile from the campsite, I had two hours to get there. 1.1 mile from the campsite, I had one and a half hours to get there. 0.5 miles from the campsite, I had just slightly less than an hour to get there. I'm making good time. It's 7.34 and I'm at Shaker campsite. Checking this. My shelter, the Southern Wilcox shelter is 6.3 miles away and Goose Pond cabin where I'm going is 9.5 miles away. Well, as I night hike today, I made some calculations of when the five guys who slept in the shelter in addition to me would catch up to me. Uh, I figured in my calculation they would start at 8 o'clock and if they are twice my twice as fast as me they would catch up to me at 2 o'clock and if they're three times as fast as me they would catch up with me at 11 o'clock. The fifth guy, the oldest of them, who I didn't speak to yesterday, had an auto camp at 5.30 and just caught up to me. So he's about twice as fast as me, or he's been hiking twice as fast as me this morning. He, from talking to you, the other guys thought that I was looking for something and that's why I was sleeping or trying to sleep so early yesterday and had it out so early this morning but I explained that I just needed the time to get to Goose Pond Shelter. My math was pretty good. The starting time for at least one of them not so much. Warning, gas pipeline. Apparently they have gas here. And I'm assuming those three pillars warns for gas pipelines too. And while we're looking at those, we, we have some views. We have a gate right here. Not sure why, because there's a path there and there's nothing here so you could easily go around this place without using the gate but this is the Appalachian Trail so we use the gate not sure why does someone know why there's a gate there please let me know in the comments a river and it almost seems as if this log, the tree that has fallen, could actually work as a bridge for those who have the requisite balance and courage. 
or rather, I'm here to hike the Appalachian Trail. Getting over that thing does not help me hike the Appalachian Trail. And if I fall, I get wet, and that would be bad for hiking the Appalachian Trail. Some signs on the Appalachian Trail point to north and south. This sign points to Georgia and Maine. It's the same effect. But that one is more accurate as the Appalachian Trail is not a straight north-south line. It, it twists and turns. So in any given moment, you may not be walking north, even though you are northbound. Here we have another gate. Does that mean that the reservation has ended? And right on the other side of that gate, we have these views. And not just views. There's a bench. I'm sitting on an actual bench. Well, well, it seems that we are exiting the reservation now. Trail stand? What's a trail stand? Hang on, I'm too curious and it's not very far. What is a trail stand? I have to find out. This is what a trail stand is. They have free Wi-Fi and they are selling stuff, which I'm assuming is an honor system since I haven't seen anyone around. Here we have an actual barbed wire fence and some stairs to get over them. It. Okay. More barbed wire fence and a more primitive set of stairs to climb over them. I'm not gonna film doing this. I'm on the other side. And trekking poles alone would not have gotten me here. Fortunately, I could grab hold of this and use that for leverage to get over. Thank you. As I've been hiking today, uh, an old Britney Spears song invaded my mind. And as it kept playing, I realized how easy it would be to change the words I remember to something AT inspired. I like writing. Poetry is one of the things I like writing. I haven't written poetry in a long time. And what are lyrics if not poetry? Yes, I'm not the standard AT hiker. But if you're here, you already knew that. Let's see how easy this is, will, will be. Okay. I'm the king of the world. Nah, I serve the king of the world. Another boardwalk, old, a bridge for the troubled waters. I will lay me down. My feet would actually not mind if I laid down and my shoulder would gladly join them. But time is of the essence. I didn't start hiking at two o'clock in the morning because it was fun miles to go before I sleep. I am exhausted. My feet are hurting. I'm moving forward on willpower alone. I've seen other YouTubers talk about the mental and the physical aspects of hiking the Appalachian Trail all of them 
have said that the mental part is the hardest. <laughs> Again, I go against the grain and say that the physical far, far, far outweighs the difficulty of the mental. And then I add a caveat for me. Just like other hikers speak for themselves, and maybe for hikers they have seen or been around or heard of, and they think that the mental is the toughest. Same thing with, with uh, training to be a US Navy SEAL. They mention how important mental toughness is. I'm physically not in shape. I'm far away from being physically in shape. But my mind is sound and it is strong. I mean, I have my weaknesses, like everybody else. But comparing mental toughness and physical toughness, my mental side is so much stronger than the physical. If all I had was a physical, I would still be home. But that's not all there is. And though my feet hurt and my shoulders hurt and my body wants to stop, I won't let it. Brakes, sure, but there's only one direction and that is forward. Main word, if you will. Hi, this is Ed in Kansai. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking. <laughs>